What will be interesting here is to see how much Wayne Parnell can swing the ball, particularly back in to the right-handers. He does. That's what he. That's his natural shape. Actually, swings it back in. So it uh, brings the LBW more into play than it would normally for a, a left armer bowling over the wicket anyway. That's edged and gone. That's a good catch from Mark Boucher. It's a good delivery from Wayne Parnell too. He's not swinging it a huge amount, but he has just got a couple of shape into Ricky Ponting, and that one I think held its line. Good delivery. The captain's disappointed, but I think he's I think he's got out rather than playing a weak shot, or was it too wide, Greg? Well, he was driving on the up as well, and I, I think previously the balls had been swinging back in. But Ricky Ponting just pushing at one. He goes for eight in Australia, 11 for two. That's a good shout. That's out. Just what we were talking about in Parnell's earlier over. If he can swing it, but he bowls very full, and if he can just straighten it through the air, then uh, it looks very, very dangerous. And in uh, Michael Clark's case, it's proved fatal. Yeah, well, live I thought it was out, and I think it's cannoning into middle and leg stump. Here's the replay, and it is. It's hitting the inside of middle, so that's a good decision. And once again, the swing of Parnell. He's on fire. He's taken two for none already. And Michael Clark goes for five in Australia. 14 for three. There's a bigger pill. And it's gone! Another wicket, Wayne Parnell and Dale Stainite fire here at Supersport Park in Centurion. The 19-year-old has picked up his third wicket. And it's the big wicket of Mike Hussey, who scored 83 in the first MTN. South Africa on fire and Australia are in deep, deep trouble. Just shuffling across, looking to hit it down the ground, and that is, that's out. Seven crowd hitting middle stump. Good use of the swinging ball, up full, and uh, straightening that. That is a good, very, very good ball. David Hussey's on his way. He's out for three, and Australia 19 for five. He's got for a snap, this is high in the air, this should be taken by Germany and it does. And now picks up his fourth wicket, comfortable catch back to the catch. Gibbs took that catch, took the easy catch by Gibbs in the end. Some good communication between both healers there and Gibbs making no mistake and Bracken is gone. It's 129 for 9. Here you see Parnell getting his fourth wicket of the innings. Well deserved. And Gibbs judging. Good judgment here by Gibbs. So Bracken's gone. It's a ninth wicket down. Gone for five. Australia 129 for five.